was a cold dog night, filled with frightening dreams. When the doctor awoke and began to scream, the buck, the buck, I'm bringing him back. Benevolent as ever with a soul so black. If down on that hole is where I gotta go, then I'll goddamn do it. He's the host of the show. Love and Evelyn Buckley Show! <laughs> I'm Joe, or Buckley, and this is The Amazing Buckley Show. Um, no one, no one gave me any lines. Um, am I, am I supposed to, supposed, supposed to do a thing? Who the hell is that? That's Tab. It's Joe's cousin. No Joe's running late. Show. My name's Joe, did I say that already? Oh, he's terrible. It runs in the family. I don't think anyone runs in this family. No, come on, get out of my set. Get out of my seat. Come on, give me the hood. Give me the hood. Come on, take off the cloak. Do I have to? Yes. All right, all right, fine. Here, here. Now, we're in this honor. Do you guys hear me? Come on. I can't get it, Joe. Get that off. Come on, you're done. Come on, you're done. Get off. All right, all right. Just go where I can't see you. Am I still getting a ride home? Yes. Right. Come on. You know, I don't have my driver's license yet, Joe. Is this good? Further, further. Come on, right here. Okay, right way right here. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Benevolent Buckley Show. For the second time in a row, I've been late to the set. Hilarious. You guys tricked the fat boy. I wrote that. Who are you? Oh, come on, Joe. We're just giving you a hard time. Why are you late, Joe? None of your business. OK, come on. Come, come on, Joe. Joe. Tell us, Joe. No. Tell us what you were doing, Joe. Answer me, Joe. What were you doing, Joe? I got caught in my zipper. God damn it. What the fuck? Creepy cold. Put me on the show, you fat pig. Ooh, looks like it's time to take some viewer calls. Hello, viewers, scream at me. Hey, Buck, I'm a big fan. What are your thoughts on the state of modern horror films? Wow, what a terrific question. There's some great stuff coming from the indies. It follows, like Mungo, the witch. But Hollywood horror is fucked forever. You get shit like Conjuring 4, Paranormal Activity 12, and just dog shit after dog shit. You want to know what modern horror is like? Jump scare! Jump scare! Hunchback! Ah! You're totally right. I also wanted to know why you're balls. Thanks safe. for calling in! Hello, viewers. Scream at me. Joseph, did you clog the shower drain? Mom. The bathtub is almost full. I poured vinegar down the drain, but it keeps coming back Just up. Turn the water off, Mom. I've been drinking the water to make it go down, but the vinegar bubbles are coming out my nose. Just call a plumber, Mother! Wrong number. What is this even? Why do you guys have me in this outfit? Look at the hat doesn't even want to stay up. No, no, I'm not doing it. I don't care. You guys can't make me. Oh, fuck you, you cunt. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Witch's Brew. <laughs> Today, we're going to be cooking. Oh, I'll be teaching you how to cook poison. Today we'll be cooking the Petri Chicken Dish. It's a real ass blast of disease. Let's go over the ingredients. First you're going to want to start with a thick raw bird. The purpose of this dish is to poison your enemies, so you'll really want that salmonella to stick. Get your bird nice and tender, stretch out those drummies and get it loose enough so that you can jam your whole fist into it several times. Next up are the eggs. You're gonna need at least six to really double down on that salmonella again. Keep them raw and runny. Now cram an egg into that bird, but be careful. Sometimes the egg will pop out. So grab a knife and whack, whack, whack it until the yolk comes running out. Then cram it all in along with some more eggs. After you fill that bird with eggs, just fist it until it oozes out of every hole. Now it's time to bring E. coli to the party with some ground beef. Pack as much beef in there as you can so it'll soak up that egg juice. 
When you're done, just open those legs and take a look. Give it a little tickle to make sure none of the juice runs out. Crack open an old can of expired beets and take a whiff of that botulism you're about to infuse with your dish. Now let's turn that bird around and open up that front butt nice and wide. Use your knife sharpener to break up the central bone system. That way you can ram those rotten beet discs into the spine. With processed deli meat comes listeria. Use pickled loaf for the best results. Roll the bird over and rub its back before you slap, slap, slap that meat on. After you've coated your bird in deli meat, do some dancing spider legs on it for your own amusement. If you're lucky enough to know where to get it, buy some extra raw milk. Campylobacter is a good way to get the diarrhea flowing. Let's get that bird upright and pour the raw milk down its open gullet. Make sure to get some on your hands, because mother likes a dirty boy. And to seal the deal, let's add some extra crunchy peanut butter. Anaphylaxis is always worth the extra trip to the grocery store. Just spread a healthy dose of the peanut butter on top of the bird, and you're almost ready to poison the manager of the station where you film your show. And why not add some malic acid to the meal? Just like the fox you work with who always use it in your potion of the day. Now open your oven and set the bird inside. After you shut the door, just open it back up again, because we want this dish as raw as possible. And there it is! The Petri Chicken Dish! Mmm, this'll poison the fuck out of anybody! Thanks for tuning in to the Witch's Brew! <laughs> what? No, absolutely not. Of course it's poisonous, it's got salmonella in it! Oh yeah, stick it in the fridge then, it'll be good for a week. What do you mean it won't keep? It's all raw! I'm not trying this. No! 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 The Benevolent Buckley Show is brought to you by... This fantastic product. No, don't even ask me. I'm not doing this again. No way! Get your fucking goddamn hands off me, Hunter! And now it's time for my least favorite segment. Sponsor Spotlight. Today's spotlight is going to be a little bit different because the sponsor is here on the show. Why are you fucking this show, honestly? What the fuck does that even mean? Oh shit, and there it is. Why not? Just take a seat. Thanks for having me on the show, Buck. Just do it. Just do your thing. What the fuck are you shilling? Well, uh, it's my pant, my panted holy water bottle. And you know, Buck, if you're anything like me, I'm not. You can get awfully thirsty after a uh, hard workout, long hike, or even a lengthy sermon. <laughs> Your doll gets it. <laughs> but I designed this product so with every drink, you replenish not only your body, but also the Holy Spirit. That's great. I see you got some crosses on it and some beads. That's real nice. How much does it cost? Only $58.95. Ah, that makes sense. It'll go real nice next to my snake oil. Where can people get it? Uh, sold exclusively at Holy Community Church. At your church? Yep. Yeah, thanks for coming on. Well, hold on, I thought I was promised three minutes. No, didn't, that didn't seem like three minutes. They're always a minute. Joey gets three minutes. No, they're always a minute. This, I thought... is we, this is how we get the lights on, Joey. You need to let us sell this product. Fine, fine, just do it. Just do it. Just do it, I'll ask you the well, questions. You wouldn't, do any, you wouldn't do any good if I had 300 minutes. No, what, what, what can you put in it? It's no use. This, this isn't holy water in here, it's just tap water. It's all right. The bottle, it's, it's patented a holy water bottle. It's just something I got on sale at Dollar General. It's gonna be okay. <laughs> No, 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 it's all right, it's all right, buddy. <laughs> hey, hey, you're gonna get through this. Help me, Buck. Okay. I need help. It's okay. Kiss me again. It's okay. It's not helping. It's okay, it's gonna be okay. Oh, I hate myself. It's okay, here, here, I'll buy it off you. I'll buy it off you. It's not worth it, don't waste your money. Here, 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 keep the change, sir. It's okay. It's okay. 
It's okay. Supposedly it goes with it. Okay. Choke it by one, you rich folks out there could. Sure, sure. Only fifty-eight ninety-five. I don't have change. It's okay. Keep the change. <sighs> I'll be better. I... One more kiss. Right. Do you need help getting out? God. Oh, Joe. It's okay. Another kiss. Shay, and make sure it's security box him out of here, okay? But not to make sure that he's okay, just to make sure he gets out of here. Right, yeah. Yeah, get him. Potion of the day. <laughs> Bottoms up! <clears throat> I'm so thirsty I can drink a goat! And now it's time for the potion of the day! Today's potion of the day is Warlock's Blood. What the fuck is that? It's kind of like a Bloody Mary. You know how they put the little bits in there? How am I even supposed to drink this? Well, you drink through it. How? With your mouth. No, 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 no. You can eat it like a pre-treat. Do it! Do it! Do it! Do it. Do it! Alright, fine! Bottoms up! <coughs> well, the that sure was a great potion, guys! Please call 911. Special guest! <laughs> they don't say anything, is this a band? Today's guest is people with tattoos. What? People with tattoos. No, 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 I, I heard you. It's just like, fuck, I give up. Hi, it's nice for you to be on the show. It's good to be here, I guess. Yeah, yeah. yeah. For the viewers at home, these are people with tattoos. So, what are your names? Uh, I'm Heather. I'm Mike. I'm Joe. You know, my mama calls me Jojo. That's a nice nickname. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you have any tattoos on your butts? No. And can you show them? Yeah, actually, I do. But I'm, I'm not mooning anybody. No. no. Come on, mister, I want to see your butt! There's no tattoos there. Come on, I want to see! Why? I'm a goddamn policeman! Let me see! I want to see your badge, then! That's a, that's a business card. You know, I'm not sure what getting a tattoo is like, but here's my impression of it. Spelled my dead sister's name wrong. So, what's your favorite color? Uh, I, I, I really like orange. You guys do realize this is going terribly, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. I'm this aware. Is painful. This yeah. is extremely painful. Can I see your ass? No, no. That's that's the last time I'm going to tell you. Oh, Comet Cauldron. <laughs> well, there is no chance of rescuing this episode. I'm just going to skip Comet Cauldron. Good night, folks! Joe, you can't keep skipping segments. What's the point? All the comments are just going to be about how I'm a fat idiot who broke his penis. We pulled the comments from last week's episode before you mangled your penis. Fine! Bring out the cauldron! Why?
Why is this always so goddamn inconsistent? Sometimes it's fog, sometimes it's dry ice, sometimes it's nothing. What are you people being paid to do? Joe, there's nothing consistent about this show. It sucks. Benevolent Buck, I think your show is getting better with every episode. I'm constantly laughing, and I even find it entertaining when things go wrong. It's my favorite show. So watch when I'm down in the dumps. Don't let the haters get you down. You are my favorite host. Wow, that was really nice. Come on, Joe. Let's do another card. Yeah, Come, on. Yeah, Come on. Come on, Joe. Let's do it. Come on, man. All right, I'll read another one. Your dick's broke. Oh, <laughs> oh,